first time on Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. So the sign on the noodle stand said, Noodle, what would you say if I told you that there is one spot from which the sign would be read the way Mr. Stickler claims? When viewed from the south, the sign on the stand reads El Dunes. However, observe the other side of the stand. <laughs> Mr. Stickler, you witnessed the crime from the northern side of the park, not the south. The entry wound was on the right side of the victim's head, correct? Well, the right side of the victim's head is north. But that's where the witness Wesley Stickler was standing. Correct. So if he was standing to the north, then the only person there who could have shot the victim in the right temple was Mr. Stickler himself. So is evidence that points to the witness's involvement in a crime. The evidence is this. What? Is that women's underwear? Hey, those are mine. So, are we to understand that you were silent not because you were guilty of murder, but because you lacked the courage to admit your theft of this girl's undergarments? You do not understand? Oh, those no. panties are the promised land. Ew. Right from the Damn. moment I first laid eyes on them, I was compelled to investigate. Jesus! <laughs> she pulled a tire out of those panties. I remember now. He's one of the regulars in the audience at the Wonder Bar. I feel like if that's what he's dressed in, he's probably distinctive enough that you probably could have remembered this before <laughs> now. <laughs> The witness claimed he saw the crime from the south, but was in fact in the north. Indeed. Would anyone care to explain why he lied about that? Well, it's gonna be the second pair of pants. Yes. It's gonna be it's gonna be Plum's pants. Mr. Justice, uh, why do you have my wife's panties? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Kitaki, I need you to trust me when I say that I found these in the trash. Oh, I see. So after you violated the sanctity of my marriage, no. you decided to throw the relic of my oh. wife the relic. in the trash. Why did I take this job? I just want to be an attorney. I don't want to be some errand boy accused of panty snatching. Ugh. But you are really good at finding pennies, Apollo. Jersey, that's not helping! <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Nothing! <laughs> I'm just really good at finding evidence, apparently. No, is that what they're calling it the now? Well, then women throw their lied. evidence at me all night. This, the evidence shows why he lied. It's this! Like, it's my turn. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I'm Sarah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've thrown everybody uh, off. <laughs> no, oh, it's so, so adorable. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, my. You said change it up, I, so I did. I was going to say, yeah, and then <laughs> Taylor, Surprise! say your name. <laughs> I'm Taylor. <laughs> yeah, we we Pete is broken. We literally just had, had a conversation about being able to sort of change the openings a little bit. Like, just experiment a bit. And then Sarah, cold open with that. No no warning, nothing. And so, oh, geez. You're that welcome. was brilliant. <laughs> so, um... um <laughs> Great job, sweetie. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Yay! Thanks, Daddy. Oh, my God. Okay, let's... Let's hop I guess on into let's it. get into it as yeah. I've completely floored Pete. <laughs> yeah, I just I'm it's sorry. not looking at Bev. No, it was just it was very cute. It was it was very charming. It very was, it was, and very unexpected. And it just yeah. Well, the thing is, the thing is, something. you have to Pete has to you can't just do that to Pete like cold because then the warm feelings. It's like trying to jump start a completely like dead engine or something. Oh, it's just so like, you, you know, if to, you start it yeah, all at you, once, you have to imagine. You have to imagine that you're so. Imagine the lifeless corpse and your a uh, lifeless corpse and you're slowly reanimating it. Right, the blood's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while to spread throughout its lifeless body <laughs> and to slow and for it to start to feel something again. Right. <laughs> And so that's that kind of the situation. Right in the field. Yeah, Is that so what you're saying? So yeah, so I was having to pick myself up off the floor there a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like put you out of commission in spectacular fashion. It's like strong hearts, right? Oh, hand. Damn it! <laughs> Boom, got <God>. him. <laughs> 
What the hell have you done today? <laughs> like, what, ha what have you taken? I've had the happy pills, I guess. <laughs> I just want to say Sarah has not had the happy pills. No, I haven't. But I like, don't know. I'm just having fun, I guess. Good, 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 good. good. <laughs> and now time to end all of that and go back to the There's right anything agency. It's got to get serious now. It's time to get serious. Oh, what a train wreck that was. I'm glad we made it out wow, of that train. that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually talking out the opening. <laughs> Trucy just dives back in. Where have you been? Oh, nowhere. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we made it out of that trial alive. Really? I have fun. I'm lucky made it through the day, too. Everyone was too obsessed with panties to bother with the real case. <laughs> But it was good publicity. Imagine the crowd at my show tonight. Yeah, yeah, lots and lots of drooling old men. <laughs> you should come, Polly. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. The amazing Mr. Hat will be making an appearance. Hey, uh, folks, I will be here all week. <laughs> I'm sorry this voice is so bad. <laughs> it's okay. That's about enough of him. Oh, what's wrong with Mr. Hat? Oh! Got you Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we did this, didn't we? No, 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 no. So, yes, in a playthrough <laughs> in that did a, exist. a playthrough that was oh, lost to time. Oh, whoops, whoops, <laughs> whoops. You mean the there play was through, an instant where we recorded it, the but play it was not recording the video, the, where and we, so the it is lost to time. The, the, <laughs> the lost tapes of Disillusion played, yes. <laughs> yes, we, we got... We got to this bit on the previous one, but when we had to record it again, we didn't. So, yes, yes it's familiar, I, but it ain't familiar I, to everyone. I, <laughs> it ain't familiar. I, 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 legit, I legit just, I had for completely forgotten that. I had completely forgotten that we, I, I had forgotten where we left off. I'm sorry, I'm just going to do the voice now. <clears> okay. <throat> Hello? Oh, uh, Miss Tiala. Miss Tiala. Tiala. I forgot you were here this entire time. <laughs> yeah, um, I've just sort of been uh, reading books and stuff. Um, um, just you, learning you, magic. I had a door on the way out, and I couldn't really oh. figure out how to get it open. But anyway, Polly, um, thank you, you for today. Look under the hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see white powder at my parents' place all the time. <laughs> oh, okay. She was actually really dismayed because she was like, she, she having to stay over the night and she was really hoping that, oh, there's a whole pot, a plate of pasta and everything. And then it's like, <laughs> oh, it's plastic. Oh, oh, maybe at least I can make myself it's a plastic. cup of tea. Maybe at least I can make myself a cup of tea or coffee. Oh, the kettle is not real. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, the kettle actually has a hole in it so that uh, it can be used for a magic trick. It's like yeah, you, you, absolutely. This changes the flavor every like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he makes a drink and she pours the water and it's just like black currant or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? Um, thank you for today. The trial went well. Oh, right. No problem. Do you think Wonky will be okay? No, I think he needs help. <laughs> oh. Trusty. Well, yeah. From his dad, at least. Shh. She can hear us. <laughs> well, he's not guilty. I mean, yet. the problem is, it, it started out and I thought it was kind of charming, but the problem is, when he starts talking like that all the time, it <laughs> does start to grate on you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Please, you have to help him. We're supposed to get married next month. Oh, uh, congratulations. Uh, a way to put the pressure on a guy. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Uh, we could say hello. <laughs> Are you sure about marrying into the Kataki family? Sorry, some water. Oh. <laughs> like, Taylor, Alita, are you there? She, she's changed her mind. She's done a runner. <laughs> I'm fine with it. And I love Wonky with all my heart. Wow, okay. Oh, that's so sweet. So... It doesn't bother you that you'll be, um... Married to uh, someone who talks that way? Not uh, particularly. Uh, <laughs> well, no, married to the mob. Um, I don't think so. My parents are against it, of course. Say, where did you and Walkie first meet, anyway? Uh, good question. 
only I thought of that. <laughs> Miss Tiala doesn't look like the type to have gangster connections. Oh, um, <coughs> we met at my old job, actually. Ah, uh, office romance. <laughs> Trucy, what do you know about mm. office romance? <laughs> I live in an office, Polly. I mean, I, <laughs> no, I mean, but you've got no employees. You boyfriends. are the employee. I've had boyfriends, Polly. You, uh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, not Taylor! Not, way. not That's again! Rude. <laughs> no, I was saying it was Phoenix. Jesus! Oh. <laughs> like this is the first I'm hearing about it. Uh, uh, they were just friends, Daddy. <laughs> maybe we should. Uh, maybe we shouldn't talk about that in front of uh, Nick in the back there. <laughs> Nick's just loaded up the shotgun. Tell me their names. <laughs> You see, the door just opens a no crack. I just want to talk to her. No one holds her just daddy's want to talk little to girl and gets away with it. <laughs> I just, I just want to talk to I just want to shoot him. I just want to daddy! talk to Daddy! <laughs> She's not very forthcoming with... Uh, She's not very forthcoming with information about herself, is she? Did you get tongue-tied inside your own head? <laughs> no! <laughs> Maybe! He does it all the time. He's fine. Uh, he he, he does, does, it's it. true. It is, it is true. <laughs> Um, did you know that the boss is trying to get out of the business? R the business? R really? Mr. Kataki wants to quit being a gangster? He's trying to transfer his assets into a normal company. He only announced it recently, out of the blue. I hear there's quite a lot of confusion in the ranks. Huh. I wonder if this explains that apron. What? No. I, <laughs> I just like to wear this. I can't imagine Waki going along with that. <laughs> He's highly motivated, isn't he? Um, that's <laughs> not the word I would have used. He said, I'll be the next big, I mean, he said, I'll be the next big boss and keep the family alive. Wow, boss. that's a really good impression. He's going to be the next <laughs> big boss. Next, he's going to buy, next, he's going to buy an island. He's going to call it Shadow Moses. <laughs> Well, to be fair, I'm suppose... sure that's a reference to something, but it was probably from the early 80s. In fact, I'm trying to think if Ooh, Big Boss... it's not that old! <laughs> Did Big Boss make build Shadow Moses Island? I forget now. I don't know. Isn't it? Is, I, it, I guess is, it is it in Phantom Pain? I'm going to have to... No, no, he didn't build Shadow Moses there, because Shadow Moses comes in in Metal Gear Solid 1. But So it sounds uh. like an excuse for me to have to replay through the franchise. Yay! <laughs> Not that Pete needs any excuse, he does love that. No, I just need the time. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I think he's at that age where boys want to make a mark on the world. Uh, that's not when, the way, rather. That's not the way I would have put it. His father moves in a lot of circles. He's really focused on profits. The Kataki family's been making a killing recently. Oh, I bet they have. Yeah. They're more ways than <laughs> Oh, and again. that didn't sound good, did it? <laughs> not like that. Again, not the way I would have put it. But Wonky says, It's not always about the money, Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> they have the gangster like, tradition to uphold. Taylor, that's not what Wonky sounds like. It's, more, it's not about the money, Spider-Man. It's, like, it's more like <laughs> no, that. No, 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 no. It's not about the money, S-Man. <laughs> S oh, my God. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, no, no, you've got it. Yep, Sarah, she, Sarah out, Sarah out, walkied both of us. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ooh, a generation gap. They've even got the ever classic "What about the family business" thing going. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Sarah did that last time. It's so cute. <laughs> it is. It is very cute. <laughs> Are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> that was very Are you good. Very good. So, you want to play woof? <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. With the fishes. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Mr. Hat, deal with them. Wee <laughs> oui, wee. Oui. Uh, usually it's the father worried about tradition. Father. 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 <laughs> Can I. Can I ask you a question about Waki? I understand. Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> Are we okay? <laughs> no, <laughs> whatever. I okay. I understand he was operated on by the victim, Doctor Maractus. <sighs> Apparently, yes. Apparently, so we don't even know really. <laughs> kind of, in a way, roundabout way. I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He messed up my op something bad. And then he just lets me go without a word. See you later. Bye. 
So I gotta go in and get another doc to patch me up again. <laughs> so angry. So angry. Yes, it sounded horrible. Wonky has always been fond of fighting, I'm afraid. I'm not surprised somehow. I'm not sure it qualifies as fighting when pistols are involved. Mr. Gavin was saying his life might be in danger, wasn't he? No, no, that can't be right. I'm, I'm sure he was just trying to scare us. It's scary to think that a surgeon might make a mistake. Hmm. Oh, did I leave my watch? Where did I leave my watch? <laughs> <laughs> like, I could have swore I had it around here somewhere, Doesn't but... Don't worry about Daddy. I mean, he only broke <laughs> his ankle, but... Mm, well, know. let's see. I was supposed to operate on the... What, what was it? Uh, ankle? No. Shin bone, <laughs> maybe. Uh, hey, was I supposed mm. to take off his full arm? I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean. Oh, did I? Oh, what is the chart? Oh, I didn't write down what it was supposed to be on the chart. Well, <laughs> I mean, I got a one in two hundred fifty-six chance to get it right. So, <laughs> I mean, it sounds like Nick. Oh, I had the chart upside it's, down. <laughs> it sounds like Nick might have paid for like the super duper platinum package for whatever he needed because, like, <laughs> whenever he had like that first thing that happened to him, what was it? He the the was it the. Was he it the, fell off the falls. He fell off the, the falls. Yeah, it sounds like they kind of might have accidentally grafted adamantium onto his skeleton. Because <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, it does oh seem my like God. it does seem like he can take a bit of a beating. <laughs> Instead of spikes coming it's out, all, of his all that time in Marvel vs. Capcom has <laughs> hardened his body. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, the spikes coming out of his hair. That's why his hair spiky. Well, he just like <laughs> that. <laughs> well, I was just thinking he doesn't have like the the, the Wolverine claws. He's just got like the, that's why his objection is so terrifying. He's just got the <laughs> mega objection point. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. But it's even scarier when he tries to hide it. I'd like to know a little more about this operation. Maybe it's time to pay the Maractus Clinic a visit. I should be getting home now. Uh, wait. I've been <laughs> so here all day. Now that, you've now that you've unlocked the door, I'm going to get the heck out of here. <laughs> Hockey's in your hands, Mr. Justice. Oh, I really Don't wish he wasn't. Don't let me down. <laughs> I really wish he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> right! L l leave it to me! Apollo, I think you're only making her more nervous. Shh! Don't say it out loud, You know, Trucy. I think the real question is, like, given how much money they have, are you really the best attorney they could afford? I, no. <laughs> Sorry! I'm new at this, okay? <laughs> it's all right. I believe in you. Yeah. yeah, I suppose now that you've said that, Taylor, it is interesting. Now that I've had a chance to sort of process what you'd actually said. Yeah, why are they coming here? I mean, I know it would make sense if they managed to get Nick, but obviously with Nick no longer practicing law, like, it kind of feels a little bit weird that she's comfortable, like, just passing it on to rookie attorney Well, Trucy, Trucy altered the flyer, didn't she? Because it's the right... There's like, she's got the magic bit, and then she altered it to say, and like, defending, now defending or something. So she altered it. Yeah, but I kind of feel that you'd think the Katakis would want, like, maybe. They would have want, yeah. they would have you know, wanted. You don't just Phoenix want a criminal right. defense attorney. You want a criminal defense attorney. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I mean, I, didn't, call Saul. I mean, now that you've said it, I didn't think of it that way. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I suppose you're right. Uh, okay, so hang on. It was the, what is it? The Kentucky Mansion, and then to the clinic, right? Oh no, El Eldoon's house. Then that was no, no, no. I think I think we've always gone to the mansion first, though, and that's why mm. I've got it ingrained in my brain that this and is the, the clinic. One. Oh, hang on. Wait. So, wait. Is it the garage that we're going to? Uh, oh, no, no. We have no. to scroll on Eldoon. Oh, why is it not brought anything up? So, okay, so Eldoon's house. Then scroll uh, to the left. Is, oh, it's all right. No, it's, it's, it's okay. I was just trying to... I was looking, feverishly staring at the bottom of the screen to try and be like, what's the move button again? Uh, Do we... Okay, why is it not brought anything up? Examine the door. <laughs> told us to go to the Maractus Clinic. What's the, going on? Do we have to go and talk to Nick first, maybe? The, maybe. The front entrance to the Maractus Clinic. Excellent. The walls and posts are so highly polished, I can see my face in them. Not relevant. Wait, my hairdo's a little flat. Also not relevant. Uh, there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, good. Okay, no, but, Apollo can't figure out how to pull a door handle. Excellent. <laughs> good. No, that's fine. No, that's sure good. Does... No, that's, that's, that's fine. I mean, no, that's good. I... <laughs> 
The handles are just so shiny from being polished. You can't get a good grip. It just, just tends to slip off. Them. Out of it's like they're covered in butter or something. Yeah. No, oh no. <laughs> um, uh, okay, okay. So hang on, we've just come from here. Let's try the clinic, right? The Hickfield Clinic. Oh no. Yes. No. 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 Okay. Uh, <laughs> Do we have to go talk to Cocky Talky Talky Walky? Talky Maybe. Walky. Talkies. Not, oh, not, 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 not since after court though. Okay. Not, not since yeah, after yeah, the yeah, trial, yeah. rather. <clears throat> okay, something's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh my. we got the right place, guys. I always forget just what a shriveled up husk that officer <laughs> looks like. <laughs> High definition was not kind to him. <laughs> he literally looks like the freaking guy from Scorn. Ouch. Mm. Looks like Walkie's out for questioning. I really need to... Did you hear that? I I I I, I think I heard a pterodactyl or something. <laughs> Taylor, uh, <laughs> are you all right there, Taylor? Taylor's just been abducted into Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Spared no expense. Oh, yeah. That hurts my throat. You, I should stop doing. Are you yeah. actually in pain? What are you? Are you? Are you doing a bit, Taylor? I, I, at this point, I'm doing I'm a now, bit. No, oh, I'm in psychic okay. pain. Okay. At this point, I really wasn't sure if it was <laughs> if you were actually doing a bit or if you were just genuinely hurting. Yeah, yeah. No, this is actually the start to a house episode where you know the. <laughs> Just randomly, I, I start, I, I pass out and then, and in then, the middle of the recording. But then it's me, but then I'm the one who actually has the problem who needs to get fixed yeah, the in the episode. Yeah, the bait switch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I really need to talk to him. I guess we'll come back later. Taylor, are you- Excuse me. <laughs> uh, yes? The other suspect is all through with questioning, sir. The other- Oh no. oh no! Okay. Oh, not Stickler. Uh, hope, hope you remember the Stickler voice. Yeah. Wesley Stickler. So they arrested him too. I mean, his face kind of just. I think you could instantly remember like the voice just by looking so, at his face. <laughs> so it's funny though, isn't it? Because yeah, I took a look at him and then sort of had this idea of like, oh yes, he's going to be kind of like this. And then the game's like, oh yes, his high pitched shriek of a voice. I'm like. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Well, Let's... I made this hill. I'm dying on it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right. Let's it's have like a... Gregson and being Scottish. I don't. I don't care that he's British. <laughs> he, he's Scottish. To us, he's Scottish. He will be Scottish. I will die on that hill. He will Do not at me. Be our Scottish boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's have a little chat with Mr. Stickler. I hope I don't regret this. You probably will. He's kind of a weird guy. <laughs> He is a valuable witness. I mean, frankly, the reason why we're letting you talk with him is because we just want to get him out of the holding cell. Because he is annoying the ever-living crap out of everyone else. He is a bit precious. I'll give him that. Please, keep this brief if you would. Oh. I'm quite busy. Oh. Yeah, that's brief. what a panty snatcher would say. Uh, oh, no, please. <laughs> oh, not, not you. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> He's here. Here he is. I need to finish this pen. No! It's, it's you. Uh, Mr. Stickler, we'd like to, like is not really the word I want to use. We'd <laughs> like to have a few words with you. Oh, uh, very well. As long as they're few. Nothing would make me happier. <laughs> Believe me. Yep. All right, then. <laughs> Mr. Stickler, on the night of the murder, you stole... Wait! I can't help but feel that I'm being misunderstood. Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> how exactly? Yes, that night I obtained a pair of panties. It's true. However, it was my burning curiosity that drove me to do it. Nothing more. You wanted to know the trick to my pennies, right? <laughs> you, 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 you're here too? <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Young lady, how old are you? <laughs> I'm 15, sir. Oh! <laughs> okay, you wanted to know the trick to the 15 year old. Okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're, the question's over. He's we're done here. <laughs> we're just we're booking just, him done. again. So, uh, hey, hey, Jaren, warm up the electric chair. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> hmm? Oh, great Trucy. Teach me. Uh, no. <laughs> huh? I must know the secret of your panties. Okay, you come with I'm me. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Jesus My very jail. Hangs <laughs> in the balance. 
please make me your apprentice. Sir, I am going to need to ask you to move away from the glass. <laughs> he's like, his face is like smooshed up against it. Oh, his, no. His, his breath clouding the glass. <laughs> please. Step away from the glass, dude! I don't you know. Are, you are single-handedly giving me an excuse. You are justifying the existence of police brutality <laughs> by your words in this specific moment. I don't know. I think he'd made, make a great lovely assistant. I don't know why Apollo's Please saying that. Please don't encourage that. <laughs> don't say that, Apollo. Yeah, I think that's really mean. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. You go to jail, Apollo. Apollo, asshole att attorney here. <laughs> asshole at law. <laughs> That's it. Apollo justice, asshole attorney. Uh, could you relate to what you saw on the night of the murder to us one more time? Why not? Though it hardly differs from the testimony I gave in court. The defendant was there in the park that night. Of this, I'm quite certain. He was pointing a pistol or something like that at the victim. That's when I shouted, Stop! You two! Let's resolve this like gentlemen! And the next moment, a shot was fired. And this is all true? Really? <laughs> My panties are gone! Uh, My innermost I'm heart... I'm sorry, what? My innermost heart revealed... I think that's more than... It's more than just your heart that's been revealed, pal. <laughs> <laughs> what further reason could I possibly have to lie? I can't think of anything he'd want to hide more than the panty snatching. True. It sounds like Waki was at the scene of the crime after all. Oh, how I wish it weren't so. Uh, oh no, do we need to show him something, oh, I guess? we don't need to show him the panties again, do we? Oh my god. <laughs> no. I'm gonna show him the badge. Fine. Ignore my evidence. See if I care. Show the... I wonder what he's thinking. On second thought, let's not go there. Show him the frickin'... <laughs> nope. No? No? Okay. See if I can. I wonder what. Yep. Yeah. Okay. They're not true, season. <sighs> That's it! The mystery! The unanswered riddle! Uh, Apollo, do you mind flushing my pennies all over the place? <laughs> don't say it like that, Trucy! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> um, actually, they're just a normal pair of pennies. What? How is that possible? It just takes practice, that's all. Then you must teach me. You must. To think if I could produce a pencil, an eraser, a textbook, and a lunch. All from a pair of panties. <laughs> my life would be complete. I yeah, no, that wouldn't that wouldn't make people look at you weirdly at all. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, that sounds like a good plan, honestly. No, that seems I don't see I don't see any holes in that logic. Yeah, no, that's fine. He's no, that's yeah, yeah. Serious, isn't he? I, I would Jail. <laughs> Get yourself a girlfriend. It will help. Uh, uh, the wing mirror, does he know does he maybe. does it broke? No. No. Okay. I'm just wondering if he's What about if is Can we can, let's just try to go back to the Miracta. Oh, I made the cell phone, yeah. Oh mm. no! What? Doesn't care that we have a cell phone. Okay. Uh, Noodle cup. Back to the clinic? Yeah, I guess maybe we try. Yeah, maybe. Way. Okay, okay. <clears throat> it just feels weird, you know, when this is... When, when there's only two dialogue the, options. Exactly yeah. that. <laughs> yes, exactly that. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Although, to be fair, Trucy's now here, so which she wasn't... Yeah, but before. she'll be, like, doing the hint thing now. Yeah, I know, but she wasn't before. I just, oh, ah. no, you were right. Oh. Okay. We just had to engage Stickler briefly, which I really didn't want to do. Nobody wants to do that. Hey, it's Mr. Eldoon! Oh, Mr. Eldoon! No, I gotta remember the voice. <laughs> <sighs> What's wrong? So, you found my stand. That's why I'm here, to thank you. Oh! Uh... But now it's a crime scene and they won't let me have it back! That's also why I'm here. I got no other place to go. Ah... Uh... 
I see. So which one of you am I staying with? No, oh, God. No. Well, I don't have a home, actually. <laughs> I'm staying at the Wright & Co. Law Agency, so uh, there's, I don't think there's any more space. You could go in the closet. Closet? How can a noodle stand be a crime scene? That's what I don't get, Trucy doll. I, <sighs> I don't like that he calls it that. Oh. I know it's fine. Even in death, he's after my neck, I tell you. Bah! Can't even cook an honest noodle! He? Even in death? You mean the victim, Dr. Maractus? I tell you. It's enough to drive a man to make his soup even saltier. Oh, God. Crumb, mind me never to eat his noodles when he's in a bad mood. Okay. I don't know. Eating a noodle, for some people, helps improve their mood. Just a single noodle, Taylor. I think it improves. Well, the, I uh, think it improves the mood of the person, <laughs> of someone else. Sarah's mood seems to be improved. Sarah's mood does seem to be improved. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. There it is. Um. Hey, Sarah. Get wrecked. No. <laughs> if you tell me about your salty noodle, noodle I'm great. <laughs> I don't want to know about your salty noodles. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why I did this. Why did I join this crew? Why am I here? Why did we make this channel? Because what unfortunately you're married to me and you're friends with Taylor, so you've got no option, I'm afraid. God damn it. <laughs> you sold your soul God when you married me. That's, a, <laughs> you're, that's the thing, is you are bound to both Sarah and I at the hip and there is no escape. You cannot you cannot flee for we will find you. Yes. And that is a promise. <laughs> as well as a threat. <laughs> <laughs> that stands. For generations, it served up the very best noodles us Eldoons could make. A tradition of noodles and salty broth. It's more than a stand. It's history, I tell you. Uh, watch what you say or it might become true. That's a great story, Mr. Eldoon. <sighs> Thank you. A single stand passed down from generation to generation. Of course, to be honest, I didn't plan on doing it. That's right. You said something about that. About you rebelling against your pups, was it? Good memory, Trucy doll. I, I was a go-getter back in my day. <sighs> Until my friend next door butted in. In the end, I was left but nothing but this dusty old stand to earn my fortune. Uh, Mr. Aldoon, I don't mean to pry. But what exactly did you do before you became a chi uh, chief? Chef. A chief? A chief? I know, I just stupid. I mean, he's I chief of his own noodle stand, I did I guess. a stupid. <laughs> what exactly did you do before you became a chef? Bleh. I'm going to guess he was a doctor. You would think Maybe. so, wouldn't you? It does, yeah, yeah. Let old noodles lie. That's what I say. I'm starting to get an idea of what he did anyway. He stole my dreams and left me with nothing but noodles. And now, I don't even have that. It's really impressive how you can speak and play the harmonica at the same time. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> I suppose I also have that too. Uh, Mr. Aldoon, if I might ask, what exactly happened between you and the Maractus Clinic? Eh, eh! I couldn't help but sense enmity there. Enmity? And I hate him. Uh, hey, Ted. Him acting like he smells like roses when he's rolling in mud. Excuse me? Rolling in mud. <laughs> he, oh, I don't know why I thought this was Apollo. <laughs> he's the only doctor at that clinic, you know. Pretty impressive, huh? I'll tell you the secret to a success. The mob. Oh, and that's why he's so nearby, I guess. Mm. You mean... The Kataki family? They're always having one of them turf wars or whatnot. Always an injury or two that needs fixing. Maractus saw a chance for some business. So we started giving the Kataki family a good deal. A deal? A deal. A deal? Every fifth operation for free. Jeez. He stole the idea from my pups. One free bowl of noodles a week, he used to say. <laughs> Can a 
doctor just decide to do that? What about the insurance companies? Oh, no doubt it's illegal. But it got him in good with the family. Pretty soon, he was getting all the business in town. Leaving me here in the dark! Up to my neck and souping noodles! I think I figured out Mr. Eldoon's former occupation. Noodle. And who to ask, Apollo? Okay, right. Mr. Eldoon. Or should I say, Dr. Eldoon? Figured it out, did you? I mean, it wasn't exactly hard. <laughs> like That's <I> right. <laughs> I was a doctor. A surgeon. Until the year before last. I took some Vicodin, and then I okay. hallucinated an affair with my dean of medicine. Oh, wait, no, that's a different guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's Dr. Sholmes, right? Dr. Sholmes. Yes, that one. So Mr. Marectus was your rival? That is a that is a stone face if ever yeah. I have seen it. I gotta <laughs> say, man's looks like he was he was like an Easter Island head. He look he looks like some villain from like Columbo or something. He's like Columbo's like evil twin. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, who's Columbo? Have you not? Oh, he's like a proper like oh. cheesy old school detective. And one more thing. And then he would like. He would Detective Columbo. I've never, I ne I've never Have seen it. Have you not seen it? Oh, God. Now I feel old. <laughs> now I, I mean, isn't it older than old. us anyway? It is. Columbo. It is, but things like this really help to make me feel old. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, it's like, so, you know, you get, when you're when you're a certain age, you get the tail end of the stuff that was relevant for the previous generation, and then that slowly fades away. So it's like, by the time I was born, you're only a couple years ahead of us, but or of me, but then that must have faded out. Like, I saw, like, Gilligan's Island reruns, and the nanny and that stuff, but I never saw Columbo. Mm. We've aged ourselves. <laughs> yeah, it was this like, it's a really, really old like detective show. It was quite, quite funny and campy and cheesy. <laughs> <Yeah>. Neat. <laughs> it was funny. Put down in the comments if you remember Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> you like those onions they put in the soup broth? I do um, actually. I really mm. like those. Yeah, kinda. But take a spoon. You drink some broth. Those onions will find their way in there. What? <laughs> yes. Okay. For people who like them, why, that's just fine. For people who hate them, I hate onions. Hate them! I knew there was a reason I hated this guy. <laughs> <laughs> How can you hate onions? They're like the best thing. You know, there's a few people yeah. I've spoken to and they don't like them. I'm like, what? how? The frick is wrong with these people? That's I love so onions good. and garlic and peppers. Yeah. 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 Oh my I mean, God. I've like only the... just started to come onto peppers, but yeah, onions and garlic, holy the crap. The combination when they are cooking is like, mm, yeah. sublime. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean, biting into garlic just as it is, oh, perhaps raw, not. Well, raw onion and garlic, yeah, it's a bit... I mean, well, well, raw onion, I mean, you chop it up and put it into stuff, no problem. Oh, no, but, I don't. Like, yeah. still a bit I, do, yeah, like, just... I do like a bit of raw onion. Like, yeah. I, I don't usually eat, like, or the raw, like, uh, green onions or whatever, I do, I don't mind. Like, usually, you know, I'll, when I'm cutting them up or something for, for meals, yeah. I'll just snack on a couple. I wouldn't necessarily, anyway. yeah, I wouldn't necessarily just be like, like you would an apple, just be like, oh, you know, I fancy an onion. No, like, I, I wouldn't do that. You might get a couple weird looks, you just take a bite out of an onion <laughs> in public while making and, eye contact, and just like. <laughs> and do not react whatsoever to the uh, tanginess of it. I think I, I did know someone who would just eat an onion. Apparently, it was uh, beneficial for lady problems. Apparently. Oh, okay. Good to know. Apparently, it had some health benefits. So. In, I mean, fair <laughs> enough. But yeah. The problem is, you go on the internet, you can see all sorts of crazy remedies for lady health problems, true. including shoving garlic up there. That's not, true. Less, not yes. even. Yeah, not even. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so, right, okay, this is. I hate onions! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it went a lot further than I meant it to. <laughs> that is what he said. <laughs> Good God, Taylor. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was right there, Pete. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. That's what I said to your mother. <laughs> oh. oh. Got him. <laughs> Hate him. <laughs> Always sneaking in from the side, getting in the way of a good tasting spoonful. <laughs> well, that's what he was. An onion. Onion boy, that's what I called him. Uh, so, you weren't exactly friends. 
You think I would call him Onion Boy if I liked him? <laughs> it might be like <laughs> a cute pet name. Me and Palmaractus. Ever since preschool, we were getting in each other's face. No matter what I did, sure enough, he'd come following along. Then he'd do it better than me. Just blow right past without so much as a howdy. Ah, uh, I see. That's right. I was a surgeon long before he was, you know. <sighs> and the no good onion boy comes along. Well, Trucy, looks like we find ourselves a new suspect. Don't say that! Thanks to him, I was forced to trade in my scalpel for a ladle. <sighs> Sorry, pal. Didn't mean to weigh you down with an old man's rambling. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. By way of apology. You ever get yourself in a spot of trouble, you drop by. Uh, huh? You're investigating Maractus, aren't you? Yes? Well, you want to know about a doctor, you ask a doctor. That's all I'm saying. You just think of me if you need something, Trucy, though. Right. Thanks, Mr. Eldoon. Hmm. I guess the time spent listening to him to complain wasn't entirely wasted. You gonna what make was that? In the uh, now, no <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing, it's all good. Uh, so do we want to show him anything or should we move on, do we think? I do not want to show, I, uh, No. <laughs> uh, gun. Noodle stand. That's right, Sonny. When are you bringing my stand home? I'm ready. Can't you see I'm ready? I guess. Until that stand is back home, the case is not closed! You hear me? I think I'll avoid talking about his stand in the future. Okay. Uh... Do we... I don't know, I don't really see a reason to show him anything. Uh, I mean, unless my, the mirror was found nearby... Maybe the mirror, because it's... Nope. Okay. Precious little... Okay, let's just try going on to the clinic then. Okie koki. So, uh, this button? Whoa, oh. oh, well, we've got to check out this clinic, that's for sure. Okay, let's see if Apollo will learn how to operate a door handle. <laughs> yeah, but what about the guard? What guard? No harm in asking. Um, excuse me. Hey, it's you two from yesterday. Th that's the same officer that was standing outside out by the park yesterday. Your business is over in the park, isn't it? The clinic's off limits. It's not involved. But, but... What part of off limits do you not understand? Show me proof that the clinic is connected to the incident in the park, or beat it! Uh, no harm in asking. No gain, either. No point in sticking around here, I guess. Oh, blessedly. Uh, uh, well, we can't present so, anything to the guy, to the guy either. No. So no, so but maybe we have to present something to Mr. Aldoon then. Oh, well, Mr. Aldoon goes like, "Hey, shiny boy." Uh, what about the uh, walkies thingy checkup? Oh. Wah, wah. No. I wondered if that was something that would relate to it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Last time Nick gave us something, didn't he, to let us get past uh, some other situation? So maybe we can. He, well, talk. He, gave, he gave us the white powder because it makes Emma happy. <laughs> or maybe, we, oh. or maybe we can convince the Katakis. Mm. Maybe Plum will give us something. True. Oh, there she speak is. of the devil. Yipes! She's back. Hey, you two, over here. Hey, uh, Mr. Gangsterly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, sweet little magician girl. How's hey, it going? It's good, thank you. Look, look, we found our panties. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow, what an amazing detective you detectives you both are. <laughs> I had no idea. Honestly, I thought there was no possible way they'd come back, and yet here they are, creases and all. <laughs> creases and all. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, us. Yo, little plum. What's that? <laughs> I think all this gangster ease is a negative influence on Trucy. I heard you retrieved my bloomers. <laughs> well, I was just doing. <laughs> a man speaks clearly and takes credit where it's due. <laughs> you caught the thief, didn't you? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry, I caught him. You 
you cute when you're nervous, Polly? Yeah, it's all the time, isn't it? I'll deal with you later. Ooh, that's uh, a threat. Uh, <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> but enough about bloomers. What about my son, Walkie? B -b Walkie? Uh, he's, um, clearly. Y -y yes, ma'am. This is why I was kind of hoping we would come avoiding. But wait, this is what we would come avoiding. I'm sorry. This is why I was kind of hoping we could avoid coming back here. Yeah, I just totally misread that in the uh, <laughs> the whole back and forth with them because again, it was skipping the dialogue by itself. So yeah, I was trying yeah. to like ah, get a little bit. Uh, it's getting a bit crazy there. <laughs> He's really everything you'd expect in a boss's son. I'm going to be a gangster dude. Oh my gosh. The life does have an appeal for that age. Particularly for boys. What? Don't look at me like that. He was shot in a turf war about half a year ago. Yes, we heard the story from Waki. But he didn't tell you the whole story. You know, even if he had a pistol then, he couldn't have shot anyone. What? He acts like he's hard, but he couldn't shoot someone to save his life. Mom! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just telling hey! the I'm just telling the truth. And you're in the detention center. You shouldn't be able to hear this. <laughs> At least I think so. Now I'm not so sure. I suppose he's not. Oh, maybe he's being detained. Yes, he's got to he, be detained. Yeah, of course, yeah, you yes. ruined my I'm street rap, mom! <laughs> Jesus! I should know. I'm his mom. Her words do have a certain weight to them. Hopefully, when this is all taken care of, he and the boss can sort out their differences. The boss? You mean Waki's father? They didn't seem to be on the best terms, did they? No, I heard them all the way out here, arguing <laughs> in, in the court. It's true. One of our pistols is missing. So, you know the thing that bothers me about the way that she's... Because clearly, obviously, she's got the blade hidden in there. Mm. But the way that she's pushing the broom sort of seems like it would be very possible to just accidentally push, like, pull the, the handle up and then, like, slice your finger mm. on the blade. Or just get it caught a little bit. It's like, ah! Jesus, damn! I mean, Owie. very yeah. strong magnets holding it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So the murder weapon was from this mansion? We kind of figured. Given the difficulty of obtaining a gun these days. Oh, it's not America. I, Wait, I, thought, <laughs> I was going to say, I thought they were living in America. <laughs> this is Neo San Francisco. <laughs> Obviously, there they've outlawed them, I guess. <laughs> yeah. None of the rank and file have access. Only the boss, myself, and Waki could have taken it. I see. I'm sure the cops will continue tromping all over the mansion because of this case. Maybe this is a sign that maybe this is a sign that it's time for a change. <laughs> she doesn't seem too concerned, at least. Yeah, Waki's fiance. They're getting married next month, correct? I suppose. She's been staying over lately. You don't look too happy about that little plum. Hmm. How'd you guess? Huh, even I could tell that. Could you tell us more about her? <sighs> Walkie brought her home one day. Says he wants to tie the knot. I can see why. She's so pretty. Oh, she's pretty enough. But, you know... <laughs> nah, <laughs> it's probably just me being suspicious. Stay in this business too long, and you start to only see darkness in people. You get a nose for it. A nose for people. A nose for trouble. Huh. I wonder what the problem is. Do you take the gun, then? Maybe. It's like a gangster's only version of female intuition. Huh, no wonder I don't understand. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> Polly. <laughs> the boss may act tough, but that boy means the world to him. Oh boy, 
Hey, it's a good job you didn't hear him in court. No problem, no problem. Say. What are you doing? What are you doing <laughs> out there on the streets undermining my reputation? Yeah, he was doing She was doing it to me too, Dad. I don't get it. She's just making us look soft. Walking, go back to you. Honestly, he, ha he has such a gooey, chewy center and that doesn't befit his outs oh, outward darling. appearance. Oh, oh. Oh, Plum, I, I love you so much, but you, you make it so difficult sometimes. I see where your son gets it from. Aye, aye, aye. And, then when he, and then when he rolls on his back and you just tickle his tummy, he absolutely adores I am going to... I am so sorry. I wasn't going to have to kill you two, but now I'm afraid I have to because you heard that, and now it's time for you both to die. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> I imagine, yeah, like Plum and uh, Mr. Kataki would be like some sort of like final boss sort of yeah. Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, okay. <clears throat> but Waki seems, well, it seems like he's against his father's position. Oh, uh, it's to be expected. We're in a bit of a transition now. Trying to cut our ties to the shadier side of the street and do more on the up and up. Walkie isn't too enthusiastic about the change, it's true. But why the change? Is the gangster thing just not paying the bills? <laughs> it pays, but we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. I see. Huh, something must be up. He'll see things the way the boss sees them. Someday. Okay. Alrighty. So uh, I guess we move. Um, so what were we doing? Oh, we we're gonna see Nick, weren't we? But I guess we were gonna see Nick. Let's. Well, I'll see if he, he can do anything. That's not done anything. Uh, wait, 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 we we don't have anything to sort of present to. I mean, maybe we no could. Bloomers. I guess she'd pre present her bloomers. Actually, yeah, yeah bloomers and the checkup report. Yeah, maybe yeah. see if she'll mm. make the guard go away. Yeah. So bloomers. Um, about. These. Hey, my bloomers! Thanks for that. I owe you one. Um, <clears throat> I thought you might like them back, so. Huh? Oh, no, no! Why don't you keep them? <laughs> As a souvenir! <laughs> oh, no, I couldn't. Really, I just. I could use those in my magic pennies act! Oh, my God! I'll no. cut shivs and pieces of Godfathers out of them. Pieces of Godfathers? Jesus Christ! No, Trucy. pieces and Godfathers. Oh, okay, pieces and Godfathers. Uh, great. Now your props are going from bland to dangerous. Okay. Hey, Walkie's check out. Sorry, kid. I've got no really? idea what it's you're talking your son's about. Report. <laughs> <laughs> the gun, maybe. Oh. So this pistol, be which actually makes sense because yeah, she was yeah, literally yeah, yeah. just talking about it. So this pistol belongs to the Kataki family. Is that correct? It's one of the pieces we keep around. That is, we used to keep around. They're all gone now. Oh? Police came yesterday and took everything. Oh, apart from that. Everything but my broom. Uh, don't you think you should have given them that too? How the heck do you think I'm going to clean the streets, little lady, without this thing? Uh, Are you kidding? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it's, like I've, it's like I'm in a head. <laughs> you kidding? <laughs> Can't clean up very well without a broom. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alrighty, um... I guess, I guess try to go to Nick then? I guess the only other thing what is... about the knife? Yeah, do we try, like, the other weapon, the other gangster-like thing that we have, and then and then we'll go to Nick. Mm. Okay. Uh, can you tell me if this knife belongs to Waki? Oh, that's his knife, all right. Bought it for him for his birthday. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty hardcore present. I remember him falling asleep with it clutched in his arms. I bet he was just as happy as I was with my plastic spaghetti. What? <laughs> you know, it's funny because <clears throat> for me, that was a, a nutcracker. Oh, really? <laughs> um, yeah. So when I was a wee bairn, <laughs> the, uh, uh, we watched the nutcracker mm. for, I, for the first time, and I was absolutely enamored with it. And so I asked my dad for a nutcracker for Christmas, and he got one for me. Aww. And I believe I named it Bricks. Aww. And then... Bricks. I, uh, yeah, I just, I was sleeping with it like a stuffed animal, which in retrospect really was stupid because 
you know, it's hard and it's made of wood. It's not very comfortable to snuggle <laughs> up with. No, it's, I mean, it's not, but I did not very dangerous, until it though. got a little damaged, and so then I stopped. Oh, but, no. Aw. The, I, I, I was, still have it. I, I, I feel bad because I don't like them. They're really creepy. <laughs> they creep me out a little bit. <laughs> they are a bit weird. No, that's okay, sir. No, that's, that's no, fine. That's, that's okay. No, that's, that's, that's fine. No, that's, that's fine. I mean, I, mean I, you know, I wouldn't come and say that I think your momijis are all creepy, but no, that's okay. I mean, no, this, police no, guy, I this police guy kind of looks like a nutcracker. I'm just not going to say. Oh, no. Nope. Tiawa has offended Taylor and now does not want to. <laughs> 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 okay. We don't have a space on the bingo card for Sarah and Taylor falling out. No. <laughs> it's so rare. I'm not Where saying they... anything. Pete, we're going to they know oh. I did a dumb. And I'm then not saying I, anything and against your nutcracker, Taylor. I just don't like them. <laughs> um, I was hoping to meet with my client. Walkie Kataki's just finished questioning. I'll bring. Oh wait, I've realized I'm. That's the. That's the guy. Task Admiratis. failed successfully. That's the other one. I'll bring him out. Great. Finally. I realized the guard voice was the guy who was outside of the Maractus Clinic. It's Taylor who does this one. I'm sorry, Taylor. <laughs> it's okay. Yo, sup, my little imposter? Ah! Uh, what, what did you call me? Dizam. Eh, it's you. Sorry, G. Thought you were a leader. Oh, wow. He's blind as well. My little imposter? Sure is a strange nickname. It's a clink fang. You wouldn't understand. D did I say imposter? I meant, uh, poster! Like, uh, like, uh, poster girl. I... If you're not, if you're gonna drop that part of it, why not drop poster and just call her girl? Cause she's so much more than that, G. She's like, she's like an angel, a, a fallen angel. Oh, hang on a minute. The messaging, the symbolism. Hang on a minute. Is she bad? Well, I Is mean, she bad? she's he's, he's fallen madly in love with her in a short space of time. A gun's gone missing. The only she's trying to marry into the family. She's trying to marry into the family. And then he has access to the weapons. What could go wrong? And he's <laughs> and he's describing her as a fallen angel, yeah. which is just kind of well, like also an imposter. An imposter. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Because if she dressed up as him, oh. or something. Oh, I didn't think of that. Maybe. I mean, I don't know if he wouldn't. Unless she's an imposter, Amogus, but you know. Well, I think it's more perhaps the idea of her being a gangster and <coughs> like, she's like, oh, I'm so sweet and whatnot. And so she's an imposter gangster, maybe, is how I interpreted it. But maybe. Anyhow. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, what can I uh, do you for? <laughs> you don't look so chipper today, Bucky. <laughs> Worried about your uh, heart condition, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> That was the wackiest thing of all. Wackiest, rather. All us G's lining up, taking eye exams and all that. Better to die young than fade away, bizoy! A relief to hear. And a relief to have you stop talking. <laughs> Death? What? What's a relief? Oh, did your father not tell you? <laughs> that bullet you carry so close to your heart, if not attended to immediately, it could kill you. Oh, that's right. Where we, where, we, where we likened him to Iron Man briefly. Mm -hmm. Iron Man. The Iron Man. Man, I ain't trying to hear that. A man fights to protect what's valuable to him. You know what I'm saying? I miss my fallen angel. Hey, you go get a leader for me. You're my lawyer, aren't you? Uh, uh. Oh. Like the Bruce Lee. Uh, lawyer, not gopher. If you're gonna try to punch the glass, I'm just gonna warn you right now. That's not gonna go over well. <laughs> so I guess is this gonna be one of those where it's like we can't talk to him unless she's there. But uh, so I hear you're to be I hear you're to be married next month. Straight up, we poured the nuptial forty out on the stoop. Oh, forty ounce bottle. Oh my god. You all right, Taylor? Do you get the reference? No, so like there's there's the, the whatever the the gangster stereotype about like you know gangsters drinking 40 ounce beers or something. Oh, so yeah. he's saying that he got like a 40 ounce beer and poured it out on the on the stoop as a, a marriage thing. You know, instead of like champagne or whatever. Right, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh god. 
Yep, no, that's totally oh. off my head, that one. Alita. Oh, Snapple Cake. She's so fine. <laughs> I think he's smitten with her in his own. I do want to say, way. I am dying inside reading things this way, so I apologize if this makes anyone uncomfortable, but you know. <laughs> I was wondering, how did you two meet? I asked to. Tiala. Tiala. Why well, can't I say it? I asked Tiala, but she was, um, very vague. Huh? Well, man, if she wouldn't tell you, <laughs> I'd best hold my tongue. You feel me? What? Man, what's past is past. She knows that. When I'm with Alita, I feel like there's things worth protecting out there. You feel me? And my Alita, she's down with that all the way. Huh, so both of them are mum about their past. I think you could tell us what happened with you and Palmarectus. See what you're It's really <laughs> weird when she does that face. I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's something you should know. We Katakis are having what you might call a feud with the Rivalis family. Or Rivalis family, you know, whichever <laughs> one. So, about six months back, I uh, go into Rivalis turf packing a knife, right? And? Oh, oh. You were shot. Owie. <laughs> Coldest thing I ever seen. One shot to the heart, but you're too late. Oh, darling, <laughs> you give love a bad name. <laughs> or you're too blamed. I homies, was corrected he said the he, last time. He said his homies weren't too late. <laughs> oh. One sh <laughs> One shot to the heart, but my homies weren't too late. It's a miracle that I survived. <laughs> It's already considered one of the seven wonders of the Kataki family, you know that? Uh, so... You were taken to the Maractus Clinic then? You should have seen their faces when they wheeled me in. You can't just let the boss's son die, you know? Oh, that face. <laughs> oh, that face. I'd... Uh, I'd hate to have been in that doctor's shoes. Mr. Kataki's scary enough when he's not angry. I want to imagine that's the face that he's like, he's practiced in the mirror to try to look intimidating. Yeah. Like yeah. he spends time trying to like look up in the mirror. It's like, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> but the bullet that hit you, it was never removed? But was it never removed? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, we know it wasn't, but. <laughs> Oh no. Yes, unfortunately, it is that time to bid everyone adieu. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. If you do like what we do, then please consider giving us a like, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, you'll be notified of our video uploads every Wednesday and Saturday. And we also have. Sorry, running out of breath. We have additional <laughs> content on the channel. Why not share it with your friends? Give it a watch. Tell the world. Yeah. <laughs> and until next time. We'll see you again. Catch you in the next one, everybody. And remember, my fellow G's, make sure to keep your lady on the slice and at down low with you. Oh, forget it. <laughs>